Hey guys, welcome to another video. Just a quick update before the actual video. I have some exciting news for those who want to learn more about paragliding, learn acro and stuff. I'm organizing my own paragliding school and uh, personal coaching and adventure traveling and all that stuff. Soon we are going to have a website, some awesome opportunities for you guys to come visit Brazil and uh, practice effectively. So that's it. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to another analyzing video in a small helico tutorial. Thank you Ellen for making this video. I will link it in the description. First I'm going to um, explain what you did and uh, next on I'm going to explain what you should have done and uh, ways to improve uh, your, your training. First of all, I wouldn't consider myself qualified to talk about helico. I'm practicing uh, helicos now over two years. I can do them eight times out of ten. I can do misty to alley, twisty to alley, twister alley to alley. I can do sat to alley, but none of them are really perfect and consistent. So and and the other thing is I sometimes I can um, stabilize the oscillation but uh, it's not every time that I'm able to first of all you are braking slowly 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 to the minimum velocity you stabilize the wing and then you stall it let's stall stall come come on come on and it stalls falls behind, falls in a back fly configuration, you release a little bit and then you start to spin. Very nice. The exit was a little bit extreme. You break too much, but okay. Second attempt, much higher but still bumpy. So, the second attempt was the best one, in my opinion, but uh, you didn't go into a heli. It was more like a negative spin go minimum velocity and then you start already to be asymmetric with your body and start breaking one side more than the other so it's more a negative spin now it starts to spin all right you stabilize in a back fly and release perfect this was your best attempt third attempt still plenty high Minimum velocity, you slow it down and already asymmetric. Alright, kinda did a spin but way in your front and then it oscillated too much. You stabilized it in a back fly. Alright, final attempt. On this one, you did two attempts. Again, the same mistake, you didn't stall the wing, it was more like a negative spin again. The problem with the negative spin, alright, you stabilize in the back fly, okay, one more, the last one, minimum velocity, stabilize the wing. one you stalled your wing stabilized in a back fly and then released a little bit more and then start spinning for the first attempt perfect I really love it that's one of the safest way to do it the second attempt you went to the minimum velocity and then you slow down the wing 
and you didn't stall actually the whole wing you did like minimum velocity and then you stalled only one side and start spinning uh, it was the cleanest one and the third and the fourth and the fifth attempt you were not really sure about it so you kind of hesitated and uh, again minimum velocity and then you pull the negative spin alright so the problem with the negative spin is it's difficult to notice that you're actually moving forward even though you're braking and you're almost still standing but you're still flying 20 km per hour you brake to the minimum velocity and then when you, neg when you do a negative spin the wing stalls and, stalls and starts spinning but your body still has some inertia to the front so it will get a big oscillation back and forth so that's why it's kind of weird it collapses and it's strange the idea about a helico is that you stop any oscillation the idea is to fall straight down and then start spinning uh, for more information about the helico you can read about it on the justacro.com I will link it in the description down below so you can read about it so to practice progressively you need to practice two main things one is the stall and deep stall and backfly and all that stuff which is symmetric and flies down straight down and the second one is the negative spin which is the spinning part which is the spinning part of the movement first you need to be very confident doing deep stalls so you so just to explain it again if you want it uh, if you want it a little bit better illustrated and uh, how to practice step by step I did already a tutorial about it is my stall tutorial it's also linked down in the description below just to recap on that you tuck your legs in pull the, uh, put your legs apart so that you're stable you start slowly braking symmetrically until you get on the heaviest point of your brakes and the wing is stable it doesn't oscillate anymore and then you pull a little bit more not to, not to your butt you need to pull a little bit more and wait wait until the wing falls behind and that's your stall and now you can stabilize it slowly by releasing it to the minimum velocity again and then you will see your tips flapping to the front and then you release a little bit more and then your tips open up but the wing is still falling down straight that's your deep stall to do a more advanced deep stall you can practice by stalling the wing first of all minimum velocity stall the wing release and then go straight to the deep stall point and hold it sometimes you need to do some little adjustments little if you do too brutal it may start to spin accidentally so practice your deep stall like crazy you must be very confident because one of the main aspects of the helico is the entry if you're not able to make a nice entry a nice deep stall entry your helico will always oscillate okay so the negative spin is very similar to the stall you just need to do it on one side to prevent um, twisting you, you need to tuck your legs in under your seat and when you pull a negative spin you put your weight on the same side you're spinning on the same side you pull the stall so um, the negative spin step by step is the same as the stall 
but only one side. First, tuck your legs in, break slowly, symmetrically, to the minimum velocity, the wing is quiet, it doesn't oscillate, and then you stall one side and put your weight to the same side you're stalling and hold it for a second and then start releasing it slowly the wing starts to spin one time two times and then you release completely uh, because you're flying you're still flying at the moment you pull the spin the wing will oscillate one time two times and then it will shoot out now the helico to do a nice entry you need to do your deep stall and when you're falling straight down now you can put your weight to the side you're going to spin it put your weight you will notice the wing will start to drift and then if, if you do an, a quick input it's really quick just a quick input to induce the rotation and then you start releasing again to the deep stall and the side which is on the positive spinning side you release completely uh, you can uh, actually you can still have a little bit of pressure just to feel the wing you can also watch uh, the tutorial from Theo de Blick um, I don't think it's a nice tutorial I don't understand French and it's quite it's kind of not very well structured I'm not very pleased with that tutorial but one thing stood out for me uh, where he said where he says on the entry you need it's like very quick three steps you stall release prosciutto and then induce the spin which side to put your weight on now I would like to invite um, more experienced pilots to talk about it if you can share your experience please do it very curious to see um, what is your technique or what are, what is um, your point of view about this topic uh, which side to put your weight when spinning so for me imagine my arms are the risers I induce the rotation by putting my weight on the negative side on the side I want to spin it so if I put my weight to the to the right the wing the left side will go to the front if I want to spin clockwise I put my weight to the right side and then it starts spinning if I want to go counterclockwise I put my weight to the left side and then start spinning counterclockwise or for those who don't understand the wing spins to the right I put my weight to the right the wing spins to the left is because I'm putting my weight to the left and that's just to um, and you can and you can imagine that technique um, just to accelerate the wing to the side you wanna spin but when you induce the rotation now you need to stabilize the rotation you need imagine my hands is the profile of the wing and if I put my weight on the right side it will drop down the right side if I put my weight to the left side it will drop down the left side it's like a rotor you need to imagine there's an angle of attack on both sides and uh, once you induce the rotation you need to put your weight on the positive side to stabilize the rotation and uh, yeah that's on my wing I saw some pilots who put the weight on neutral so right in the middle and I saw some other pilots 
uh, who put the weight, who let the weight on the negative side and just stabilize the positive side with the brakes. But for me, on my wing, I found it the best is to induce the rotation and then put my weight on the opposite side. To stabilize the oscillation, um, it's very complicated because the wing is doing like this and um, if you are sitting down and looking up it's very difficult to it's very difficult to understand what position you are in and it's more difficult even when the sky is blue so you don't have any reference only the sun so you need to pick on some reference for me what i found very helpful it was a few months ago i just discovered it for me, for myself which helped me a lot to stabilize the oscillation was that i look down to the horizon and then just start to break when the wing wants to shoot to the front all the pilots i saw them on acro wings they put the weight on the negative side and they observe only the positive side and if the positive side wants to collapse they uh, pump the brakes a little bit I also saw some other pilots who uh, pull who pump both brakes I don't know why I don't know how it works but okay so to exit the helico you need to put your weight on the positive side and just break a little bit so until the wing start, stops the rotation and then you exit so to recap I talked about your mistakes I talked about the entry you need to deep stall and then induce the rotation you induce it by three steps you stall you deep stall and then induce the rotation and then you're already spinning I put my weight on the positive side and try to stabilize it. I watch the horizon to see what the wing is doing and to exit I just break the positive side a little bit. Not much, I won't stall it completely. Just a little bit so that it stops rotating. So Ellen, thank you very much for your video submission. I'm very happy to see you guys uh, practicing and having the balls to go out and practice. Stay safe, practice step by step, go progressive, it takes time. As I said before, I'm practicing more than two years and I don't understand it properly. Helico is the most difficult trick you can do, it's uh, even more difficult than infinite tumbling or any of that stuff. Helico is very complex so take your time and uh, yeah I hope I can help you a little bit if you have any questions if you have anything to add that I didn't talk about please feel free to comment down below or make a video uh, send me an email I will link it down below I will link the video of Theo Diblik the Just Acro and I will link uh, my stall tutorial that will help you a lot. So, see you next time. God bless you all. Bye.